All right, I'm gonna show you what's new here in version three of the live sectional project. Um, we have kind of, I'll go over the standard features that we've had in past releases, but I'll get into the new stuff here in a little bit. But so this uh, is our my dev development board. So normally this would be a live actual a sectional map, and these lights would be um, poking through the center of each airport on your sectional map. Um, and so you can see kind of right now um, it shows green for VFR, blue for marginal VFR, uh, red for IFR, pink for low IFR. Um, it will flicker um, like a it'll flicker a little bit of. Uh, uh, white up here if it's snowing or foggy um, If it flashes black that means that there's high winds in that in that area uh, We also have um, a flicker of yellow for lightning a flicker of dark kind of a Brown color that would represent volcanic ash or dust storm in the vicinity um, We show freezing rain um, rain Fog snow that kind of fun stuff uh, we also have a light sensor here, so that if your sectional map is in your house, um, you can get it will uh, automatically dim your LEDs if uh, the, the lights in the living room turn off, like if you're watching a movie or something, so it doesn't it's not super bright in the corner of your house. Um, so those are kind of the standard features there. We also have a couple of buttons here. Uh, one button, if the system is turned off, the whole thing's like shut down, but it's still got power. If you push this button, it will turn it on. Um, and then once the system's up and running, if you push this button, it'll fetch new weather from the FAA. Otherwise, this will automatically fetch new weather from the FAA um, at a user-defined value. I currently have mine set every 15 minutes. It goes out and gets new weather from the FAA. Um, this button here, uh, if you hold it down for three seconds, will restart your Raspberry Pi, restart the whole system. And if you hold it down for six seconds, it will shut off the whole system, uh, shut it down. But now we're going to get into kind of some of the new features that really make version three uh, jump out ahead of everything else that we've been doing before. Check this out here. We've got OLEDs that you can embed into your sectional that show the actual airports, their wind values, and a little arrow showing the direction of flight. When the whole system boots up, you can have a welcome message that scrolls across here. So if it's in your FBO, you can say, like, welcome to our, you know, our airport or whatever. And then at every cycle switch over, like every time it goes through all the airports, it'll tell you when it last updated, got the, when the last weather was from the FAA. It'll also tell you um, local time and Zulu time. So it can kind of keep everybody apprised of what's going on. And then the other huge thing that I think is really gonna be a game changer for this system is we now have a graphical user interface for modifying your setup. So all you need to do is go, once everything, once your Pi is up and running, is you go to the IP address of your Pi, um, colon 5000 slash conf edit. We'll have these directions for you, but you go to the this website for your Pi and it gives you a, a graphical user interface for setting up everything. No more command line stuff to get these things up and running. So you can go under basic settings, tell if you want to boot automatically on, run the system automatically on boot, the total number of LEDs that you've got in your, in your system, whether or not you're using a map legend, what your high wind speed value is that will make those things flash black, how often you want to get new weather from the FAA, um, what's an acceptable range of time for the age of a METAR if you want to include it. And then if you're using OLEDs, those little displays are not, um, and then the number of those. Down here under the sectional map settings, you turn on what you want things blinking for. Um, you can turn on your home airport. It'll, it'll flash your home airport for you a different color if you want. And so it can kind of identify your home airport to everybody. Um, and you would set that airport pin here. And then, um, depending on if your string is using RGB or GBR um, color format, you can set that setting here. And then here's the dim value. When it's in your living room and, you, and it's dark, how dim do you want those lights to be? How, and then um, the number of times that it goes through the rainbow flashing in between refresh cycles, you can choose that number there. The LED color settings, check this out. We actually have a color picker, so you can choose whatever color you want for all of your different things. Um, and it'll pop that in there for you. Um, the LED or the legend settings down here, you can choose which legends you're using, what specific um, LEDs are um, being assigned as those legends. 
And then down here at the bottom, if you implement those um, OLED displays that I just showed you a little bit ago, here's the settings for that. How many airports you want to have it show. Um, and only show if it's above a user threshold for wind speed. So I only want to see them on the OLED if they've got really high winds. And so you can kind of set up all those settings. Here's your lot, here's your um, custom custom message that will go go across those OLEDs when it boots up. But here, this is even this is going to make things even easier when you're um, setting things up here. Check this out. You can come over here and click Edit Airports. It takes you to a new page. You put in the number of airports that you have in your project. You can actually have these embedded in your map at this point. Then all you need to do is you can come up here and say, oh, okay, flash the first flash the first LED or turn off the first LED. This way you can check which one you're actually working with in the map. And then you can come down here and actually put in the airport identifier for it. No more do you have to try to figure out from the back side of the map which light is in which airport spot. You can do this, you can set it all up, get it all glued in place, then come into this configuration and you can quickly check which airport is which, populate them in here, and it automatically creates a quick link here to take you out to look at the airport identifier um, on a FAA website. So you can go through and set up all your um, LEDs uh, for the correct airports. You see we've got legend in here for the ones that are the legends on my de development board. And then once you get that all done, you click Save Airports at the bottom. You can go back and edit your settings. Down here at the bottom, you also can um, shut off the lights, shut off the whole lights, um, reboot the whole Raspberry Pi, or if you've shut off the map for some reason, you can um, start it back up here. Um, this is when the Pi is running. It just turns the lights back on if you're, if you're working on it. And then we also have a help button here that will take you over to a forum that's um, on a website that we've got set up for giving you guys some help. But I think this uh, version 3 is just a huge uh, advance in what we're trying to accomplish here. And we're trying to really make it user-friendly and easy thing to implement. Um, stay tuned. We should be releasing this in the next uh, couple weeks.